A plan to change starting times for most of Boston's public schools is meeting with strong resistance from many Boston parents. Most of that's for the change to an earlier start for many elementary schools. Officials say the changes will improve student achievement overall and help save money on transportation. But many parents say the changes will cause disruption or increase the burden of caring for children after school. Our guest is one of those parents, the mother of a student at the Rafael Hernandez K-8 school in Roxbury, Susan Lombardi Verticelli. Uh, thank you very much being with us. Thank you for having me. Well, Susan, how, how did your daughter feel about this? Uh, she's upset by it. Uh, she knows at seven years of age, her starting the school day at 7.15 is too early, um, that it would greatly impact her time at home in the evening and our time together in the morning. Both of those would be uh, very much shortened, um, and the time she spends in after school would be much greater. Now, of course, the other problem here is what happens when she gets out of school? Do you, what do you think would happen if, if that schedule were to go into effect? Uh, well, we currently pay for after-school care at our school. Um, it would go from her being in after-school care for about an hour and a half to her being there for possibly three to four hours. Uh, that's a much longer day than what any child should be expected uh, to do in school. For many parents, uh, it becomes a huge financial burden. After school care is often not free or reduced. Uh, and so what we're having is a major cost shift to the parents of Boston. Of course, the, the other thing going on here is, is what these changes might mean for academic achievement. I know in the high schools, there's, there's a strong case for, for, for making things happen later. Mm -hmm. But what about elementary schools? Uh, what about starting earlier? I mean, don't little kids get up earlier anyhow? <laughs> Well, I think everyone knows from their experience as a teen um, or being a parent of teens that, of course, teenagers should probably be starting the day a little bit later. Um, all of the studies say that, but what the studies don't say uh, is that elementary school children should be getting up so early and going out the door at 6.30 in the morning in the dark, potentially waiting on the school bus stop um, at such an early time. There is very vague research that uh, Dr. Chang is currently referencing, uh, but none of that research uh, implies that young children should be going to school at 6.30, 6.45 in the morning. There's absolutely no research uh, to support that. And as it stands now, I'm usually waking up my daughter at seven o'clock in the morning to get us out the door at about 7.45, 7.55. Um, so the idea that she would naturally be waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning is really hard to believe. Now, on the other side of the equation here, you have a city that, that's trying to get the most out of the smallest number of school mm -hmm. buses, including buses that take kids to high schools. Mm -hmm. So, um, you, you know, doesn't something have to give here to, mm -hmm. to get the best result overall? Well, I think that everyone's willing to compromise and everyone's willing to give something. Uh, but the idea that there should be such a major shift and to the detriment of elementary school children across the city is not a compromise. And it's not the idea of everyone giving a little bit. Um, in fact, I talked with parents and teachers at the school committee meeting last night who, in fact, were in already in early start school. They started at 730 and they actually like this. Um, this is something that they asked for the city to keep them in that um, hour and the city changed their time to 9.30. This is being a news, and we're talking about starting times for local students with a Boston Schools parent, Susan Lombardi Verticelli. Susan, talk about what it was like going to that meeting. I mean, most parents don't go to school committee meetings all the time. Maybe you don't either, but, but what was that like last night? What were your impressions? Well, I have been to school committee meetings before, um, and last night uh, once, I, once again reminded me um, how proud I am to be a parent of a Boston Public School student, how proud I am to be a Hernandez parent, how proud I am of my community, and that over 200 parents packed the room. There was overflow space in the hallway where people were watching on monitors. Um, it made me incredibly proud that people are pushing back against a change that would really harm our children. Now, uh, of course, uh, some of that turnout last night reflected feelings, some very emotional feelings, but talk about the organization work. How did you make that happen? Um, well, uh, parents have gotten together and, and through the use of social media, in fact, there's a Facebook page out there called Smart Start BPS, uh, where parents have come together. I think we have over 800 followers right now on the page, um, and I believe they've gotten thousands of thousands of surveys filled out of their own. 
Um, so, of course, thanks to technology, uh, phone calling, uh, email, and social media, parents have really been able to join forces. They uh, packed a room at Doyle's the other night uh, as city councilors came out. Many of our city councilors have come out in support of the parents and saying to put a pause on this change, uh, to not go forward with this change. Many of the city councilors understand that while high school students should be starting later, that our elementary school children should not be going that much earlier. No, I, I know this plan has gotten at least a general approval from the Boston Globe editorial page, but, but on the other hand, you get five city councilors weighing in saying, you know, not so fast. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Um, I think it's amazing when our elected officials listen to us, when we reach out to them and we say, actually, these are the stories, these are our children, these are our schools, these are our neighborhoods. Unfortunately, the mayor has been very uh, quiet when it's come to responding to parents. Um, I've called his office twice. Um, I actually called Superintendent Chang's office last week on Thursday. I left a message with uh, one of the people in his office and I was told I would receive a call back on Friday and I'm still waiting for a call back. Thank you very much for being with us, uh, uh, Susan Lombardi Verticelli. Thank you. And we also mentioned we have invited uh, the Boston Public Schools to talk about this, and we do hope to schedule a time in the near future.